Hey everyone, welcome back to Handmade. I'm Gabriella, and I am back with another holiday video. Honestly, are there any other procrastinators out there like me who wait to the literal last minute to get holiday presents? I mean, there's a lot going on. It's a busy time. I get it. I've been seeing resin crafts everywhere online, on TikTok, on Pinterest. People are making resin coasters, resin bookmarks, resin keychains, everything. And it looks like a fun process. I thought making resin earrings would be super cute and I'm gonna make it beginner friendly because I also have never worked with resin before, so it should be interesting. I think it'd make a cute gift, so let's get started. Okay, I have all my materials to get started and yes, I am working on a children's school desk that's also pink inside with pink legs because this is just where I feel my most powerful. So that's essentially what I'm doing today. But to get started, I laid down a drop cloth. You're definitely gonna wanna do this because resin is super messy to work with and alcohol ink also stains. To get started, I have a couple different molds I found that have some really cute earring shapes. You need some measuring cups, stirrers or wooden sticks, droppers, tweezers, gold flakes, resin, alcohol ink, mica powder, and some gloves. The first step is to mix your resin. This is definitely the most important step of the process. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so I'm pouring 20 milliliters of resin into one cup and 20 milliliters of the hardener into another cup. Next, combine them and use a stirrer or a wooden spoon to mix them. You need to make sure you're stirring a lot. Even when you think you're done, you're not. Keep stirring. Make sure you're scraping the edges and that all of the streaks in the resin are completely gone. A little hack that helps with stirring is to pour the mixed resin into another cup and stir some more. This shows that there are any more streaks left in it, and usually there are. After over five minutes of stirring, this looks good to go. It should be smooth like this. Now I'm going to add some mica powder, but because I'll only be using a little of the colored resin, I'm pouring a small amount into a separate cup to stir the powder in. I'm choosing a pretty blue powder to mix in to give it a subtle shimmer to the finish. Be sure to add only a small amount of the powder at a time because it can overpower the resin and its texture. I'm just going to add a little bit more to the mix for a deeper color and again, make sure you stir very well. I think this color came out perfect and I'm so excited to mix it with the ink. So a cool technique I found people doing online was to pour the alcohol ink directly onto the molds. Usually you can mix the ink with the resin first and then pour, but I found that this technique creates a marble-like effect and that's kind of what I'm going for. To start, I'm using a sapphire blue and a navy blue and dropping a few dots of each color onto the mold. Every alcohol ink palette should come with a white and this helps with the settlement of the resin and ink. Add just a few dots of white onto the mold. I'm thinking I want to add a third color to this, so I'm going to drop in another shade of blue to give it some more contrast. Now it's time to pour the resin. I'm using a spoon stirrer to pour it to prevent spilling and it helps with precision, but this is totally optional. Just try to be as accurate as possible, but you can always wipe any drips with a paper towel. This is coming out so cute and I have some leftover resin, so I'm going to make one more pair in a different shape. I'm just repeating the same steps with the same color palette, and I love this shape so I'm actually really excited to see how it comes out. I have to let it sit for about 10 minutes to see if any air bubbles come up. If they do, just use a toothpick and carefully pop them. Resin typically takes about 10 hours to set. So now that we're done with this set of earrings, I'm going to put this away in a closet and cover it with cardboard. I highly recommend doing this to prevent any dust particles from falling onto the resin and ruining it. So for this next set of earrings, I'm just going to be using clear resin. I love the look of gold flakes and flower petals mixed with resin, so that's what I'm going to do for these earrings. I dried a few flower petals, and we actually have a great tutorial on how to do this, which I'll include in the caption. First, I'm bringing up the petals into small pieces and adding them directly onto the mold. Next, I'm taking these pretty gold flakes and also breaking them up into really small pieces with a toothpick and some tweezers. Just beware, these flakes are super tedious to work with, they literally stick to everything. Now, just put the flakes onto the mold and pour the clear resin over them. 
When you pour it, it'll probably move around the flakes and petals, so I'm using a toothpick to rearrange my design. I want to do one last pair, but this time I'm going to use just rose gold flakes. So just follow the same process as the last pair. Add the small leaf pieces first and top with clear resin. For this pair, I only want the rose gold flakes at the bottom of each earring, so using really small pieces is key. And like before, you can always rearrange once the resin is on. Check for air bubbles, then cover and let dry. I have a feeling these are going to be so cute. Okay, so we've made earrings. Now why not try a dish? I'm trying out this round ring dish mold and, like the earrings, starting with alcohol ink. My color palette here is pink, purple, and white, and I'm adding dots directly onto the mold. I mixed some gold mica powder into the resin for this one, and now just pour it on. Honestly, I love seeing the colors combine. You have to admit, it's so mesmerizing. Add some more resin until it's full. I actually had to make a second batch, but it's better to make multiple small batches than one large batch, just so you don't have to waste anything. Finally, I'm blending the colors with a toothpick to create a marbled effect. Again, this is going to take a little over 10 hours to dry before it's ready to unmold. I think the colors mix so well together, and now I just have to put it away and wait 10 hours to take it out of the mold. All right, Lil Wilson and I just finished, and I'm not gonna lie, this was a really fun project to do. I love watching it all come together, and I'm super excited to see how it comes out. Right now, my molds are all tucked away in my closet with cardboard boxes covering them, and I highly recommend doing this because it's really easy for dust particles and other things to get into them, especially if you have curious little pets like I do. But it's gonna take a little over 10 hours for it to dry, so stay tuned because tomorrow I'm gonna take them out of the molds. All right guys, it's a new day and it's been about 24 hours since I last put the resin in the mold and I touch them and they definitely feel like they're ready to come out. Keep in mind, it does take about 48 hours for it to completely settle and harden, so just be careful when you're taking them out of the mold. But I did touch them and they definitely seem ready, so let's do it. Now that I'm demolding them, I am loving how they came out. These flower petal ones are so cute, and honestly, I think they're so perfect to wear whenever spring comes around. I definitely think these blue ones are my favorite. I'm so happy I decided to make an extra pair in this color. I love how they have a marble type look to them. So now that I'm taking out the dish, I'm noticing something a little weird. I actually love how the bottom came out, but once I turn it around, I see that the white ink seems to have set on the top. I think I might have put a little too much white ink on this. I do think it's super cute, but maybe next time I'll just add a little less white. Okay, now finally, the last step is to add some backs to the earrings. I'm using some jewelry pliers and the tweezers from before and just adding the backs. Honestly, this was always so tedious for me, but the more you do it, I guess the more you get the hang of it. Now these earrings are officially done and I am so excited to try them on. I love how they came out. Alright you guys, I finally finished and I'm not going to lie, I am loving how all of these earrings came out. They're super easy to make, they're fun, they're creative, and they really do make the best last minute holiday presents. I'm not going to lie, I might, I might keep one or two for myself, but I don't know, we'll see. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are making any last minute holiday presents or if you're getting any. Also, let me know if anyone out there knows what I did wrong with this. I don't know. I feel like it could have been cute, but just let me know. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Happy holidays.